I can reserve a whole bunch of Brady stuff here. Of course, we got the new part two units reveal. We got new stuff coming up, though. I'll jump right in because I'm excited for this, though. So, we got a lot of new stuff revealed, of course. They're going to be revealed on the 13th. So, I guess, you know, get the time you know, to have our Doka Fest teaser, our data download, you know, probably tickets for Global, you know, the Jet to buy. Uh, which part one had that, so I'm assuming part two's going to probably have it, too. We'll probably get a part three, I want to say. I want to say it was kind of confirmed. At this point, we'll probably get a part three around the policy of the 20th and 21st. I didn't know enough there'll be good down celebration on the third. Because again, we'll get my full thoughts and opinions on the down celebration like I did last year, which I have that video still not actually done yet. But I mean, well, no, I never edited it though. So the video is almost a year old. So I'm like, yeah, I'll probably do it. Because I like to do it for every, um, for a while, I do it for anniversary because those are two of the biggest points in Doka, and I feel like are the most hype is. The end is good too, I feel like, in my opinion. But I mean, that ha that. I mean, that happens every year, like, anniversary, though. That was always kind of hype. That was a, it's always hype in its own thing, so I don't really need to make a review for that. It's really, because I started doing those, and you guys liked it, so I'm happy. Um, of course, we got a brand new Link Level event right here. I look like for any unit, it seems like it. I think it may be uncontrollable power, but it doesn't say or specific or specify anything. And new Supreme Boss back in the cool with Gohan, of course, and Goku for the Bully movie. The Gohan for the Bojack movie. Again, I feel like that could have been this, but I mean, hey, you know, Tana bought it next year. You know, anniversary, you know, whatever. They, they can always do it, whatever they feel like it. A new battle memorial for some new units right here, it seems like. Those some new assets. Oh, what could it be? Um, a new Doka Fest teaser for both Go and JP. What could that be? So, yeah, it has been pretty much brilliant. Go on the part two units, so. The cards are really good, though, honestly. I like it. Again, that that's about be on my new layout, but he hints up now. <laughs> so, let's go over Go on first. Of course, he's a carnival unit, though, so he does common power key 3, all set to 200%. His passive right here does key 5, attack defense up 200, plus additional key up 2. Um, attack up 40%, up to max of 200%. Defense up 30%, up to max of 150, with each attack performed, plus additional attack de attack of 77%. Uh, within the same term, with each attack, super attack performed, plus additional, pretty much you gotta keep him super, super attacks, super and super attacks, super attacks over and over, I said that twice. Plus additional attack up um, that has a great chance of becoming a super attack when keys 18 or more. Um, when keys 24 or more, plus additional. Uh, yeah, or more. Yeah, when keys 24 or more. Okay, that's different for it. Just two different parts. It's literally a paragraph, like two paragraphs. When keys 24, plus additional attack up for, um, 58%, and the legend digital attack that has um, if HP 77% or more. Effective against all sides when there's another common power. But if I have category ally attack um, in the same turn. Uh, attacking the same turn, plus a digital key to attack up uh, and guard up all attacks if HP is 77 or less. When you're receiving an attack, high density if it attacks including super attacks, not bad. His links are Super Saiyan, Golden Warrior, Saiyan Warrior, it's all in the family, prefer battle, and legendary power. Not bad for Gohan. Again, you pretty much, I did kind of think about this. I did see the details when he first came out. Pretty much, he's going to be super attacking a lot, you know, increasing his attack and defense a lot, so that can help you a lot. So, yeah, I feel like that's not too bad, honestly, though. I think you, for what you can do, I think you can tank pretty well. His standby has a little standby, of course. I uh, can be activated with HP 77% or from the third turn, starting from the character's entry turn. Uh, only once, not bad, not bad. Standby can, it says right here, stands, it's, yeah, standby for five turns, during which seven Dragon Balls appear. Charge count increases by one per key sphere attained by allies, and additional key up four per Dragon Ball attained for all allies. So pretty much, the maybe it's a cool, it loves doing that. It's self randomly on videos. Um, pretty much essentially, there's gonna be Dragon Balls like on the orbs, like on the field, you know, with the orbs in them. So, yeah, that's gonna be the pretty much a dry lung rush for legends. Of course, categories are coming me high, same, uh, hybrid Saiyans, pure Saiyans, <laughs> hybrid Saiyans, <laughs> Majin Buu Saga. I like, I like, that's funny. Yeah, him and Angel also go on, let's go, full power. Again, doesn't really make sense. He's part of the mainly movies, but I mean, yeah. Yeah, movie okay, there he is. Yeah, full power movie heroes, Goku family, sibling bonds, super saiyans, sa saviors, friend of justice, bond parent and child, or of fires, power of wishes. Majin Buu Saga again, it kind of makes sense a little bit why not because you know he went super saiyan during this, but I guess maybe like when the kind of takes place because you know, super saiyan 3 angel take angel Goku take away from the Jinemba movie. Uh, if you really want to get that kind of particular, so. It's kind of weird to still put him on the saga, but I mean, hey, another category from him that could probably help out in the future. But I like how he's on Majin Buu Saga, even though, again, it's pretty much like kind of like take place beforehand, like, you know, with the train for the tournament. So it still kind of feels funny and weird though in multiple categories, but I mean, I like that though. I like that for Doken. They get kind of fun and creative. Okay, here it is. Yeah, his 12 key. They greatly raise the defensive for one turn, calls for damage, attack, and stunning. Um. 
I think this I think this is the same thing too for his um super explosive wave. Greater is attacking for one turn. The greater is attack or his defensive for one turn and cause the damage, probably with the you know, hydrogen stunning as well. I didn't really see it at all though. Of course there's this little standby phase, of course, during the family company ha. Um his passive now changes. Look like yeah, coming how just changed. He's the, that's a new link in here. Um, unable to attack except for the finishing effect is activated. Attack of 77% per super class ally attacking the same turn. That should be that hard. You pretty much gotta make a four hero team with him. Um, I think they're probably gonna be good with the new Goku unit. Goku, Gohan, and Trunks. A uh, Goku, Goten, and like Goku, Trunks, and Gohan. Yeah. Uh, my brain right now is like fried right now. Uh, attacking the same turn if all allies attacking the same turn or super class. Reduce damage received by 77%. Defense of 50%. When receiving an attack for a case for attained. Yeah, receiving an attack versus retain guard against all attacks. Yeah, plus additional attack up 258 of the finish effect is activated. Um Tommy Hawk because he has three different ones. He has a regular one, can be activated when the charge count three, four or less. Raises his attack up by 50% temporarily um, per charge count and cause you know ultimate damage. Can be activated. Um this this one right here. Uh, the both that come on me ha. Pretty much go on and go to. Can be activated when charge count is 35 or more. So with six or fewer, or probably, you know, orbs. Uh, or, you know, orbs counts. Uh, attack increases up by 50% temporarily. Charges um, per charge count and causes, you know, supreme damage. Um, I think it's like super ultimate damage, I think, right here. Can be activated for the family command hall. Can be activated when charge count 35 or more. Seven Dragon Balls. Um, which actually, the animation's really, really good. Raise attack up by 20%. Temporarily per charge count causes links like supreme. Yeah, like ultimate damage, something like that. Yeah, that. Yeah, I call it super ultimate damage. That's a new modifier though for Doken, super ultimate damage. So I can see on a few units in the future. But yeah, go on, isn't that bad? He does a lot though. Honestly, I like the he mainly just tanks and defends. But if you put that upright, if you can get like all the Dragon Balls and orbs, you know, he can do some good damage. Like he's actually really, really good and really, really effective. It's probably gonna be like him, you know, the new unit, you know, um, you know, the Gohan Trunks and um. Go, yeah, go on in terms of Goku. Them could probably be really good together. I want to say Fidget Gohan, but I don't think so. Or Beast, though. I don't think they could be on his team. But yeah, I mean, B doesn't seem that bad. I like Broly, though, more a little bit. It isn't too bad, though, though. I still like, I still like Gohan for what he can do and everything. So, yeah. Um, let's go for Broly now. He's the next unit. Didn't do as much as Gohan, though. But, I mean, again, Gohan's a main gimmick. So he does uncontrollable power, revenge, or planetary destruction key 3. All sides of 70%, or all sides of 30%. The movie boss, the transformation boots of pure sand. Not bad. His passive does his little intro animation. Um, only once. If a, a collision, oh, string class all gets defense up 20, 40%. And for four turns from character's entry turn, tag defense up 260. And reduce damage received by 60%, plus additional attack of 100% when attacking, plus additional key 2, and recovers 2% HP per um, key 13. Activates the domain, molten lava of Natil Village. Is activated. It randomly changes key a certain type besides, um, okay, besides STR and ints to STR. At the start of a character's in, uh, attacking turn, and guard gets all attacks, and victim gets all types for the first, for the rest of the battle. Holy crap. When the character performs an addition, um, when the character performs an attack while the domain lifts up, essentially, when it's activated. Doing for the fifth turn, um, for this character's entry turn, I receive 60% and, re yeah, receives with 60% HP recovered. When this character and or an ally is attacking the same turn as KO'd because he does a KO mechanic, already a revive mechanic slash KO'd, uh, only once plus additional attack of defense of sixty percent when receiving an attack at the character or ally or or in allies um, rival skills activated charges physical key spheres to uh, ch charges changes <laughs> that's a charge in the world changes physical key spheres to um, charges change. My brain is fried today. Changes physical to in orbs. Uncontrollable power category. Let's get attack defense of 60%. I started this character is attacking turn. Starting from the turn when this character um, activates its revival skill is activated. It was, it pretty much when his revival is activated. Um, his um, active skill because he has an active skill effect. Um, like Earth Crushing Arm. I've seen that animation. It's so freaking good. Can be activated if there's a good family category enemy or allies attacking the same turn or uncontrollable category allies. Um, only once. Again, that's not too hard, honestly. Right, again, now, all this have the stuff in Doka now is really good, honestly. Like, effects and stuff like that, so, yeah. Doesn't really matter to me, honestly. Conditions have been a little bit lenient and better, so I can kind of take that as a W. Um, Master Rays attack up temporarily causes ultimate damage. I'm not, I'm shocked, I'm shocked against the new Gaul modifier. Ultimate damage creates the, um, domain 
a molten lava. I'll call it molten lava or of not not to, not to village. I'm, I'm gonna call it like molten lava domain because it sounds better. Uh, for three turns, his links are uh, same warrior race, prepare for battle, shocking speed, super saiyan berserker, fierce battle. Okay, like, him and the new Broly are gonna be really good together. Even name wise, I think they're gonna be really good together. I do like the part one Broly a little bit better though, but this one does a lot too. I think he does all. He like he's all pretty much on that same. Kind of almost beast tier level, honestly, in my opinion. Categories are holy crap, uncontrollable <laughs> power, revenge, planetary destruction, uh, movie bosses, transformation boost, pure saiyans, uh, resurrected warriors, full power, target Goku, exploding rage, inhumanity, legendary existence, um, power beyond super saiyan, um, and powerful comeback. His super attack effects are first 12 key, massive raise attack defensive for one turn, high chance of further raising his defensive for one turn. Yeah, another hundred, <laughs> another, you know. 69% defense. Gulsa damage, high chance of stunning. His 12 key. Miser is attack defensive for one turn with high chance of further raising his attack. <laughs> 1%. Um, for one turn, I call damage with a chance of stunning. Um, his domain effects are now. Again, he has domain. So his domain effects, his molten lava domain. Um, do, uh, domain effects. Uncontrollable cow. Ca ca Uncontrollable, ca Uncontrollable power category allies. Um, oh, uncontrollable cat, uncontrollable, I can't freaking speak to that man, oh, oh, oh. uncontrollable power, uncontrollable power, category enemies, attack defense up, plus 15%, okay, uh, super class allies attack and defense, yeah, super class enemies attack and defense, uh, and, and, uh, yeah, super class allies, um, and defense up 15%, plus additional 10% for characters who are moving bosses, category. So that's a little effect for like you, you know, super class, you know, dislocation that you have them on there. Uncontrollable power and movie heroes. But probably could be him and Broly probably be using together anyway. So again, another Broly for the account again for this year. Broly's been cooking this year, honestly. The easy A one just got easy A. Of course, you know, for from say you know the same day one we got because easy A. The LR one second coming this guy's easy A. This guy, you know, the new Broly that we got from anniversary night here. The new one just came out. This this is the year of the Broly for Duncan though. He's again he's he was already good. I think he was really good though. Um, but yeah, not too bad though. Not too bad at all. I probably just probably, I might summon next and just get Broly just because I feel like it. So, yeah. Of course, on to Videl, she's the new banner unit for Gohan. I saw a Goten though, so maybe it's another free play unit we'll probably get in part three. I don't know. Because if people say like, oh, new banner unit Goten, I didn't even see it at all. Like, the animations were bought so fast during the premiere, I can't even see anything. So she's a Dragon Ball Seekers or Better Fires Key 3. Also, that's at 130. Not bad, not bad. Her super attack, her um, a passive now. Um, her new, uh, new passive, her passive. Other than, I'm glad they made new for too. I've seen her animations, they're actually really good. Attack defense of 200%, plus additional attack and defense of 200%. Holy crap! With one longest super attack, randomly changes certain type of key spheres besides attack to attack. Main attack divinity, that means attack to including super attacks. Dragon Ball Seekers or Bird Fires category allies get key 2. Attack defense of 40%, plus additional attack defense, plus additional key to when this character is second rotation, uh, uh, or is second to obtain. Key spheres in a turn, I like that though. Plus additional attack defense of 20% when this character is the third to uh, third option for key spheres in a turn. Okay, so yeah, pretty much yeah, put her like in the first second slot. I feel like they want to say like first and second slot is into, but you know, it is, you know, it kind of same thing. But different, I guess, I don't know. I, I, again, it says, um, up, it says obtain as a third of characters. So I want to say it'll be like the third slot, second slot. They want to kind of make it different, maybe. Again, like, we'll know when she comes out, because again, it could be different from like the actual turn thing. But I mean, it, it's whatever. Yeah, it, it's, it's, yeah, it's whatever. Uh, key spheres attacking uh, mid turn, reduce the damage received by 20% when each attack performs um, up to 40 as the second attacker in the turn. Yeah, because they are different, okay. Tens of fading the mid attacks, including super attacks up 20% for each attack performed up to max of 40 as the third attacker in the turn. Okay, she does bad up. Not bad, pretty much similar to like, go how go how Vegeta and Piccolo were in part one. People are using him. I think does gonna be another fun unit like, alongside Gohan. Her legs are in fighter, uh, cold judgment, courage, battle diva, champion strength, money, money, me, fierce battle. Obviously, yeah, she'll probably take Broly's new battles because Broly is covering the Dark Fest, Gohan's a carnival. Her link, her categories are Dragon Ball Secrets, or Battle Fire, Puppy Gals, Movie Heroes, Earthlings, Defender of Justice, Parent, Bond, Parent, and Child, Super Attack Effect, Attack Defense up for one, Raise Attack Defense up for one turn, Supreme Damage. Um, lowers attack and hydrates, um, yeah, it really lowers attack and hydrates is a further increasing her attack. I like her though. Again, another support unit for like, you know, Gohan and, you know, Broly. Um, you know, pretty much Gohan, honestly though. But I mean, yeah, I can't wait to see SSR. It might be really good. Um, but yeah, I like, I think for me though, I think I probably like, you know, Bro I mean, Gohan does a lot more, but I think I like Broly over Gohan, in my opinion though, anyway. 
But yeah, I mean, he, he's good. Gohan's really good in his own situations and everything. I mean, they're both good, so they're all good. If you want to summon, go right ahead. But I feel like a lot of people probably get grimy, like, you know, the part one units, you know, probably people are going to summon, but... I mean, they're... I mean, all this is good, though, honestly, in my opinion. Though. They're all good. They're all great. Again, what well, I expected from Dallas Celebration, obviously, though. But yeah, um, but see you guys are though. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Great luck. All good to you again, though. Make sure to stay safe. Watch this couple of We've been going up on our mats. Don't stop. Everybody ready to get back to the camp. What's that? Just you guys to see the company. I'm sure my friends are doing good. So, if you're guys are awesome. Wake up the cabals. I'm going to go, of course, and take If you guys summon, good luck. Have fun with these units. They're all really, really good, in my opinion. I think Gohan's really, really good for what he can do. Damage reduction, a lot of attacking defense. Simply goes for Broly. He does a lot with his domain. His revive. But Dell's a really good support, too. They're all good. Nothing else to say. Amazing job for down version this year. They did really, really well with these units. Oh, well, people are gonna go complain. No, don't summon, summon. I mean, summon for what you want to. It's your game. You play how you want to. I love them all. See you guys later, though. Peace out. <sighs> I, had to, I had to take a drink of water because I had to be like.